Hey everyone, welcome. Let us discuss how to draw circular cylindrical grids in ETABS. For example, this is the building. You can locate the columns here. These are the columns in the outer periphery. You will find columns inside here in the inner periphery. If you want to model this building, let's see how to draw it in ETABS. I have made a PDF about the column layout this can be an approximate column layout you have interior columns exterior columns let's go to etabs <coughs> file new model let's go with mks indian okay so this is the default grid settings let us not go with this let's go with the blank grid system since we have opted for blank grid system, we won't see any grids here. So go to edit, edit story and grid system. So the existing grid system is G1, which is a blank system. Now let's go add a new grid system. Let's make it cylindrical, opt for the cylindrical. I want my grid system with the namings AA and one one where do you want the origin of the grid system you can opt for any origin you can even take rotation about z axis i'll explain in the next video about this okay now modify and show grid system this is how your grid system is going to look so let's press ok okay this is how it is so let us go back and see what we really want this is what we want so let us assume this is around 30 meters away from the center and this is 15 meters away from the center. Let's assume that's all. So we have around 18 segments here. So the whole circle is 360 degrees. So 360 by 18 will give me 20 degrees. Okay. Let's go back. Edit. Edit story and grid system, cylindrical, modify. So we wanted two of them. One at 15 meters, the second one at 30 meters. We don't need these two. Correct. Now you can see you have one at here, another one here. So now <coughs> how many grid lines we want we want a 20 degree spacing we want 18 grid lines sorry we want 18 in t direction okay let us 0 20 40 for every 20 degrees you are actually making one so now we want something which is 360 degrees as well all right we want this as 15 and this is 30 okay okay so this is our grid system i hope everybody had understood now go take a column you can place columns on the outer perimeter likewise you can place it alternative inner perimeters you can drag and place your columns as well that's easiest way to do but here we are looking for an alternative location let's go and model it this is how it looks so we just need to draw beams quick draw beams you can simply drag it like this Now here we don't want to draw two different beams we want to draw something from here to here which is not on the grid so 
let's take a beam here to here here to here here to here yes we're done I hope you guys have understood how to draw thank you let's meet